Okay, good day, class. So for your common base configuration uh, laboratory, um, I'll begin with the input characteristic diagram. And I already added that on the laboratory activity. So um, yes, you need to get first, uh, I'll just erase this. All right, so you need some NPN transistor first. So just use the generic one, this one. Then you will need a resistor. A battery. And then, yeah, that's it. So first, connect your NPN. Okay, so since this is a common base configuration, um, ato lang siyang arrange in such a way that your base is common to both input and output. So I'm just going to mirror this and rotate. So just check Laboratory 5 in our Google Classroom. You'll see... In page one, the schematic diagram for your input characteristic circuit. Um, we will be needing a resistor, but we need to add the ammeter first. So since this is NPN, our ammeter must be, the polarity must be negative on the left and positive on the right. Diba? So, ato lang niya siyang i-mirror para imong negative nasa left. And then, connect. Okay, so, if you check your laboratory 5 activity, our value for R1 is 10K. So, delete na nina to i-change. And let's just add battery here. So, remember, our emitter must be uh, forward bias. So, this is NPN. That means your negative must be on top. So, mirror. Para negative na sa taas. Okay, connect. And then, we need to have some voltmeter. DC voltmeter um, here. Para ma-measure sa ato ang VBE. Okay. This is our base. Um, let's add ground. Okay, for our output, we just need a 1K resistor. And then a battery that is reverse bias. So, imuhang positive must be on top. Alright. So, pakicheck ko sa table. If you see the table, you will be varying the voltage VEE and VCC. So, let's first set our VCC. So, para dili mo malibog, let's rename this as VCC and our VEE. -E. So for our VCC, let's start at 0 volts. And then this one, muna itong vary from 0 to 30 volts. Pero we increment it by 5 volts. So we start at 0 volts, for example, and then play. Oh, by the way, I forgot. Um, let's set this to milliamperes. Okay. Right, play. So you will have zero, zero. So it list na ninyo sa table. And then after which, increment this by five. Then run. So you can see na na siya value dira, no? Um, 0.42 imong IE and then negative 0.75 imong 
VBE. Now, remember, sa tong lecture, our VBE is approximately equal to 0.7 because this is a silicon transistor. So, at 0 volts, nangyap na tong VCC, no? So, let's change this to 10, for example. Okay, you can see that your IE increases and then your VBE also increases. So, inana lang. And then, after... After ninyo na change na up to 30 volts imong VEE, kini na po imong i-change to 5 volts. So pag, for example, 5 volts ni and then balik tag 0. Balik tag 0. Okay, list the values and then increment na po by 5. Run. Okay, and then list all the values. And then lastly sa ato ang uh, sa tong table, ato ning is set to 10. Okay, and then balik na po ta sa VEE, 0 volts. Until 30 na po siya. Okay, and then you can compare the values. And then you can graph the values using um, Excel Excel or any graphing na po an. Basta input na ninyo ang values, then mag-graph na din ninyo siya sa ato ang... Uh, Ma-plot na din ninyo base sa iyang values. Okay? Pareha sa ito ang input characteristics. Nagipakita na ako ng graph sa inyuhang, uh, sa itong lecture and sa itong lab exercise. Okay? So, this is for the input characteristics. For output characteristics, of course, mag-change taog mga connection. Okay. So, check the laboratory file. Ang atong connection, Anna, is different, no? Ah, I mean, same na siya, pero ang ato ang circuit, ang ato ang ammeter and voltmeter. Okay. Mawala na ni. Delete na VBE ato yung measure. Ato yung measure is VCB. So, let's delete this. And, uh, okay, retain lang ni na to. Retain lang ni na itong ammeter na to sa input side. But for our um, output side, mag-ata diri og Emitter. Ah, sorry. Uh, ammeter. Okay. Same lang yapo. No? Atong ammeter, our reading should be wait. Okay. I think it's okay. So, pa left man ang ato ang current, no? So, so, una na nato, i-mirror na nato siya. And then for the voltmeter, because we're measuring VCB, so dirita sa collector and base. So, wala na ito kaganina, no, ang ato ang VBE. Okay, same lang yapon, VEE, forward bias ni siya, yung emitter, and then reverse bias ang imuhang collector junction. Alright, so... If you check your table, so mag-check ka sa table sa lab 5, you can see uh, table 2 na output characteristics. So we begin by setting this to 0. Atong v, VEE, set na to sa 0. And then ang ato ang VCC, set ya to 0. Pero karon mag-change na ta. Ang atong VCC na itong i-vary uh, per value of VEE. So, okay. Play. And then we can see that your, uh, by the way, it's um, in amperes pa, no? So set lang yan po na to in milliamperes. Okay, so pag play ni mo, ibutang ni mo ang value ni mo sa IE dito sa table. So this is your IE. And then your ICN, VBE, ah, sorry, VCB. Okay, stop. So the next value is 5 volts. Okay, so money siya ang value sa imuhang uh, IE, ICN. Oh my gosh, na close ko. Okay, balik, balik. So anyways, um, I think nag-error ko Proteus, but basically that's the... Okay, magani na retain pa niya. Okay. So... Let me share again. Okay, so kini siya imuhang 
Uh, balik tano, katong sa zero nga VCC ni mo, ay, uh, sorry, zero nga VEE ni mo, and then nag-vary ka, no, until, imong VCC until 30 volts. Okay. And then the next one is, imo na pong i-vary ng VEE as 10, 10 volts. And then balik ka sa VCC ni mga zero. Okay, play. So now your emitter current increases no, to 0.92. So muna yung ibutang dito sa table. Na 0.92 siya. So the value for our uh, IC is zero. So what if we further increase our VCC to... Uh, I, I mean, nag-increment matag by 5. Ano, no? So for example, 5 volts. Okay. Sorry, naka-amps na siya. Wala siya change to milliamps. Okay. So, play. So, we have 0.91. Okay. And then, list gap po ng VCB. Then, stop. Increment by 5. Okay. So, yung ani siya. Until, ang imuhang VEE class, space sa table, mahimu ni siyang 30. And then, balik na po kag zero. I hope na-gets ninyo na. Medyo pas-pas, but you can pause the video. So, you can see. Okay, ni-increase na po ang imuang IE to 2.92. And then, further increase na po up to 30 volts, increment by 5. Alright, so, until mahimu ni siyang 30 volts. Okay, after which, you will now graph the output characteristics. Just like sa Input, pero ang among output, ang among X is the VCB, kininga values, mga values. And then your um, Y is the collector current value. So, nag-error na po siya. But basically, that's the, um, that's the summary of your laboratory. So, all you have to do is get all the values based sa kaning mga table. Na, uh, guided man mo sa table, nga nakabutang dire. Uh, I'll share the screen. But you can check. Okay, kinisha. So, uh, kinisha nga table. You can see that for the input characteristics, for zero VCC, money value. No, VEE. Imong i-vary. Dayon, list all the values. So, basically, pag input characteristics, imong X is VBE, imong Y is IE. Just like this figure. Okay? So, basically, yung ani yung mga figure ang ako makita. And then, for output characteristics, ang imong givari is your, uh, of course, VCC, no? But, we vary sa VEE, zero volts. So, the reason why we were, were varying a VEE, it's to increase your IE. Originally, ang ato mag yung givari ani is IE, right? Kining IE nga values. But, uh, dili man taka vary diretso sa current if we don't vary VEE. So, ang itong makontrol raan is ang VEE. So, nag-increase tag VEE. So, what will be the value for the current? Uh, IE. Okay. Mauna siya nga mga values. IE 0 milliamperes, 1 milliamperes. So, ing ani dapat ang itsura sa uh, inyong output characteristics ng graph. Okay. So, that would be all.